So it is August 26th. And this is the equity and inclusion committee meeting. And we have myself, Melody Squire, and we have on Zoom, we have, oh my gosh, my brain is so done. I'm so fried. Cindy Pollock. Oh, okay. I, know, I know Cindy and Sherry. And Kim. And, and then JL is here as well. <laughs> so welcome everybody. I don't know if anybody else is coming. Thank you, um, but um, the first thing I want to do, it's not on our agenda, but we should first, I'm going to switch things up. We should um, approve our minutes. Um, it's my fault. It's not on the agenda. Sorry about that. So did everybody get a chance to look at the minutes from our last yeah. meeting? I noticed the same. Sherry, my name is um, OCK. You want to be the secretary? I'm just <laughs> saying. I'll try to be better. Same thing. <laughs> I'll try to be better. Yeah. So, um, I did. I didn't see anything that needed to get changed. Um, anybody else? There's a couple of typos, but that doesn't bother me again. Mm -hmm. The only I only had a question, and this might have been me not understanding. Um, there it mentions how Meadow is going to talk to the ideal folks, and was is there? Um, is she, I know she was on the computer, and she was going to send something to them. Was that a? Do you know what that? Do you know what that was? was I thought was, it was like a grant application. Yeah, before? there was some money available through grants um, um, that they really wanted to do towards this type of thing. And so lecture series or educational series, um, some sort of thing like that is what she was applying okay. for. Okay, so it's just that. understood in the notes then that it's a grant, like that word wasn't in there. And I thought maybe we might want to include it in there. Oh yeah, good. I will add it. Okay. And what other typos, Gail, did you see? Um, under deep brief from Fun Day, it says Met Melody sent out a collective thank yous. Oh yeah, and Sherry volunteered to end thank you notes. Oh yeah, I I, I did not mention that to Sherry to send. She meant to say send. Yeah, right. yeah. And then yeah. my question was going down where you're talking about the music. Would it be a good idea to put it in the minutes so that we next year we know where the good place for the music to be is? Oh, where where we positioned where, them? Where you positioned them? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because we, I think it was right. We positioned them on the east corner of the community center. Yeah. All right. That's I will good. add that to the southeast corner. I guess is what you call it. Southeast right. corner. Okay. Wait a minute. Southeast corner is is that this is east. This is southeast. Oh, southwest. Yeah. Southwest. Yeah. Sorry. Southwest. Southwest, sorry, yeah. All right. I'm really fried tonight, so you have to just bear with me. Sorry. Well, I don't do those directions, so okay, I will add that. Of the community center of or the school. Of the, of, of the community center, so it was like near the yeah, it was kind of, folks' garden. Folks no, they were they were facing out toward where um. They were just kind of out so that their music could go, either left or right, out toward the playground or out toward the picnic tables. So um, that was kind of where they were. They're right on the okay. corner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know there was a lot of discussion as to <laughs> where they should go. So if they found a good spot, if it's in the minutes, then it yeah. doesn't have to remember. Yeah. Right. I mean, it might not be great if it's raining, but you know, we just have to work on the weather gods for every fun day. <laughs> Uh, all right, anything else? Mm, okay. No. Uh, somebody want to make a motion to approve the minutes? Make, make a motion to approve them, yeah. As as amended. As amended, yeah. yes. Uh, seconds? I'll second. Okay. Kim's playing with his computer. All in favor? Aye. 
Aye. All right, great. Now we will move on to the potential grants. So, um, so we're working with uh, because the better, like I said, the last me the better places grant they don't have any more money. So we're going to work with. Um, I'm trying out the. They have um. The building communities grants, and they have a specific recreational one, recreational facilities grant through them. So I'm um, I'm working on that grant, and we are now combining our efforts with the recreation committee, so that when we do, if we get to do this grant, and if we get this um, pavilion approved, um, we can also do the ball field, and the ball field can get leveled at the same time. Um, we can, we'll be doing some site work to divert water, which has been a problem in that area by the playground and divert water so that it can go not into the ball field. Um, and what's the name of this grant? It's, it's, um, let me hang on. I was just there at that page. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is the building communities grants? Okay. That's what I had, but I wanted to make sure it was right. All righty. Yeah. And it's through the Department of Building and General Services. Okay. okay. And we're specifically doing their recreational facilities grant. That's the one we're applying for. So, yeah, so that we can, there's been, an, like I said, a problem with that water sheeting off when it rains. So if they do the site work near the pavilion site, then proposed site, then we can not have that problem either anymore, which will be better. Um, and I do have, um, some, some quotes and things like that. I don't have all of them, but I think with the combined costs and I don't know what permit, if we have to do the division of fire safety, what that permit will look like, um, if we have to do one, I'm not sure. Um, we have to get a variance. We, do we have to get a variance? A waiver. A, a waiver? A setback waiver. If you're oh, setback waiver. 35 feet to the property line, you got to get a setback waiver. Okay. So we're all set with Adam. He's fine with it where the pavilion site would be. Um, do we, we don't, we're not putting a building over by the starts. What's their name? Starts. The other neighbors? The starts. Starts. Is that is right? Oh yeah, Rodden. Oh my gosh. Rodden. My brain worked. <laughs> So, um, like, if we do ditching near their line, is that something we, I mean, it'd be nice to actually tell them what we're yes, thinking of. Talk we will about. definitely, the recreation committee, is, they're going to talk to them because that's really ball field more stuff. Um, and Who's this? The, the stars, the neighbors to the north. north okay, the but ball. it's S-T-A-R-T. R-T. Start. Start. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it, so it probably wouldn't hurt to talk to Hollis too because he had tried to deal with water. Okay, right there for years. So. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, so I think with all the, and uh, the combined costs, the the grant is a fifty fifty match grant, so we would have to generate half of whatever it is and they only grant up to twenty five thousand dollars so we'd have to come up with another twenty five thousand dollars i think the whole project with the ball field depending on what and if i don't hopefully we don't need any expensive permits um would be probably around 55 to 60. so um i have i have money already um from a few people that well they said they'll donate money. And one of the people I talked to, Corey at the roadhouse across from the ball field, and she's all excited about it. And she said that she'd be happy to donate. So well, that's great. Well, one of the things I'd love her to donate is if we actually get to the point where we can build it is maybe just provide some food for the crew when we have a crew there. Mm -hmm. That'd be really fun. You know, so so anyway, just we'll just have to get um see about that. And I know that one of the um, the timber company that has the frame. So Mar did I talk about this already? That Marshfield um, lost their site 
due to flooding twice. And they've had mm. this frame and they really want to unload this frame. And so does the timber company. So it kind of feels like a great opportunity um, to help benefit maybe Marshfield. And so they're not, this isn't hanging over their head anymore. And mm -hmm. the timber frame company that actually has the, the frame. Um, and so the engineer already approved the site. I sent them, you know, our site proposed site and all that. And they said that it will definitely fit there. And that's not a problem. So, um, and I think that if, if we get approval and the grant um, kicks in and we actually get the, well here, if we, uh, the date um, for putting the grant submission in is September 10th. And so I've got two weeks, <laughs> but I've already been working a lot of things with it. And um, I've talked to several, many people about it already that are um, excited to hear about it. And uh, I think probably, I definitely need to talk to the principal at the school and let her know when that happens. So I haven't had a chance because mm -hmm. I've been, work has been really busy, um, but yeah. So school starts, I'll be over there probably picking up kids and I'll probably talk to her very, very soon. <laughs> so um, talk about that and, and generate some more interest and donations. So. Well, thank that's you, it. Melody. That, that's, I'm, I'm impressed with how much you've gotten done on it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I had permission with the select board to pursue looking into it. So I have a mm -hmm. meeting on the third with the select board to um, actually get hopefully approval and um, be able to make the application. Yeah. I mean, even if we send in the application, you know, if we're not ready or it doesn't, something falls through, we don't have to accept it, you know? So it's not like it's written in stone. Did That's you say it. September 3rd? September 3rd, there's a, a select board meeting to talk about- Is that about a special the, one? Special one, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is. So, yeah. Um, Would you like us to come? Yeah, uh, anybody. I'd, I'd love as many people to come as possible and uh, give your thoughts about it and things like that. I do have a picture. I have no idea how I actually accomplished this. So, um, <laughs> but I do have a picture that I drew on Google Maps. I don't know where to put it. No, so you're can... no, don't go away. You're in front of the camera now. Yeah, you want to just put it. Yeah. Perfect. Can you see it? Point to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, where I see Is it the oh, rectangle? There's a there's a little box right here. Oh, yep. Mm hmm That would be where we're thinking of putting it. Oh so, well. yeah. So um the playground is here. Uh -huh. Now these are all the picnic tables that could then go underneath. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not the scale completely, but it is kind of where we looked. So, yeah, this is the school. This is the community center. So it's to the west of the community center. There's the playground, if that yeah. helps at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. She's Great. holding it. It's hard for her to point. I know. I can't point. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, so that's um, what I have for that. And I'm going to be sending all the information that I've acquired um, onto the select board for our meeting shortly, a couple days, because I'm trying to get it all together. And I have a couple questions for the actual grant um, grant people, so that I before I um, want to talk to the select board about it all too, because. There's some things that weren't clear for me. Like one of them was they they don't want it to be um I say um oh like volunteer labor and things like that can't go towards the the money donation and things like that. However, the yeah. um the timber frame company said if you have people that will help, you know, it'll lower the cost. So I have to find out what where we are technically within that. You know, if that matters or not, I don't know. So, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all those little questions. So, so wow. any other 
questions about that? Um, so, any, any other thoughts? I'll put there. No, I think like Sherry said, I'll try. I think we should try to go to the meeting. I'd like to. Yeah. All right. Well, that would be great. I would appreciate that. Um, so welcome signs. Um, Rainbow was going to work on maybe another uh, design if we have them in a couple of different places in town. Um, I think that that's we're going to have to wait on that. She's been really busy trying to get her living situation ready for the baby. So we've all been trying to help with that. So yeah, so uh, I think we're going to table that. If that's okay. Mm -hmm. So I did want to discuss potential dates for our multicultural food, like cooking classes or a dinner or something like that. Um, Maybe if we have some cooking classes and then we have a big dinner, maybe it all happens at the same time. I'm not quite sure, um, but I'm not, I thought maybe fall, but I think that there's too much going on already. Um, yeah. I'm thinking maybe, um, maybe January, February, March, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know when people travel or are gonna be around or anything like that, but. We can think about dates in. Um, you would do that at the community center. Yeah. Um, yeah, it could be nice to have something like that in the winter when it's kind of a dead time. Right. That's what I'm thinking too. So. Um, so maybe we can. Yeah, we'll just kick it off. We were going to maybe thinking of kicking it off with our storytelling when storytelling starts again, but I just know with a new baby arriving in our family and game supper in November that I'm not going to have just the capacity to take that on. Oh, so, yeah. 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 And we've got concert series going on all, you know, to all fall. So. All right. So let's just think about what maybe what would be a good good time in those early months of winter of 2025. <laughs> oh. I know, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. ah, all right. So, um, yeah, I don't really have anything much more than that for now. Um, do you guys have any other things you want to talk about? Any ideas? Anything? Um, it was suggested to me that maybe we might want to have a trade barter swap day where people bring this is I'm giving you this as an idea. I, But any, people can bring things and you can take things from people. It might be a good way to meet people, um, you know, dealing with everybody has to take their stuff back if it doesn't sell um, or excuse me, isn't taken but it was just suggested as like a big town swap day um so is it gonna be bartering as well as no i i said barter i should i should it, it just a swap like everybody has their own free pile and you can go shop in other people's free pile oh, got it. Okay. That, because some people live where it's dangerous to have a free pile okay you know if uh, you're on 140 that road's pretty curvy and you don't mm, want people mm. stopping and getting hit. So um, I said, oh, that's an interesting idea. And I've been thinking about it. Um, I know we don't want to become the um, events committee, you know, yeah. lose our focus and become the events committee. Um, but it might be a way for people to meet and socialize. So I'm okay. just throwing it out there as a possibility, but not now. And you're thinking community center that would happen there? Yeah. I mean, if it'd be ideally, if it was nice out, it'd be nice to do it on the green, mm. you know, mm. um, because the community center means we have to clean it up. Um, mm. You know, <laughs> people might not be careful, um, but it's just an idea. Okay. All right. People kind of like the free pile at the end of the tag sale. But, 
you know, we, we don't, we only let that stay around about a week and we manage it. And if you told people, oh, you could bring your free stuff, it would, I think, be I, a mess. I think so. I too. guess from, I guess the only thing from my perspective is like what you said in terms of, you don't want it to, we don't want to be the events committee. It's also, is there a tie in in some way to our sort of overall goals? You know, I mean, community building, I guess, is what you're saying. Yeah. That's but all I think. Yeah. But I, in in the, that vein, I think that people who are interested should help put it on as community <laughs> building, <laughs> not us putting it on. Yes, I, I concur. <laughs> Very much. I'll just put it in the minutes and people can read about it. And if they're interested, they can get in touch with us. And if not, not going to happen. All right. All right. Well, if, does anybody else have anything they want to? Did you want to talk, about? talk with Todd to find out what meeting nights would be better? I did. I sent him. I asked Todd. I haven't heard back from him. He's got family right now visiting, so I didn't hear back from him. I asked him what nights might be better for him. Um, but uh, we could do a doodle poll or something. I don't know what nights work for all of you, if we have to change it to a different night? Uh, Tuesdays generally work for me too. Tuesdays work for me. But I think they don't work for you, do they, Melody? Uh, we, I have classes every other Tuesday, but it depends on the calendar and where um, holidays are, that they move a little mm -hmm. bit. So, um, so that would be a tricky one for me, yeah. But, well, I'm open, I think, pretty much anyone except Thursday or Friday. Okay. So. Well, yeah. Okay. So do you want me, when I send out the minutes, do you want me to ask people to do a reply all on dates that they can meet? Yeah, or just a day and it might just you know Todd can make some of them on Monday and it mm -hmm. might just we have to keep it there because I I don't know if I can really commit to Tuesdays maybe can't, he can't make the what are the fourth maybe the fourth Monday of the month is a problem for him we'll have to find out I'll have to find out from him what is best you want to do that first yeah well, let me do that first and then okay I'll like Can that. I just ask a question too? Has it always met monthly? I mean, I'm fine meeting monthly, but just wondering if, you know, if that's too much for people. Um, mm -hmm. If we did every other month and then had some sort of email check-in, is that done or is it not done? Um, I think because it's a committee that's part of, the municipality we have to warn it yeah, yeah that's what i'm asking yeah and yeah. i'd rather have a short meeting mm -hmm. than like because uh, when we have grants we have to apply for sometimes that is too long a span yeah i get that okay okay right now i see that we probably have to have meetings um if this goes through but mm -hmm. um, we could think about winter time if you know we want to skip a month here or there so <laughs> the conservation commission meets on every every other month on the third monday okay so if the third monday worked better for todd you guys could switch, could switch. off and then... uh, yeah okay maybe we can try right. that in the new year we'll see yeah all right food for thought you can put that in the minutes maybe um sherry that um if the every other we could swap off with the conservation committee on their meeting nights. Okay. Yeah. And what did we decide to do about the operator's manual? Um, we are taking it out of committee and I did get um, confirmation from Todd. I he was walking his dog and I saw him on the road. <laughs> Because I'd sent him an email and I didn't hear from him. And he goes, oh, yeah, I was meant to send you an email. And he said, yeah, he'd be happy to work on it. So we'll be working on it together. So Cindy and myself and Todd. Yeah. Okay. 
And I said, so when do you want to start working on that? The deep of winter, <laughs> because I don't see me <laughs> getting involved in that right now either. So <laughs> he just laughed. He didn't say anything, but just ha. Huh. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, but that is on the back burner too. But we'll okay. get there. All right. I'll just leave it on the, I'll leave it on our uh, agenda. So we think about, yeah, about it. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Keep that little nudge going, Sherry. <laughs> Are we going to do anything about the phone directory? We kind of talked about it, but um, all we've done is talk about it. Right. <laughs> Not a good night to ask me that, Sherry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, um, I feel like we need to get through one thing and then maybe take on another. So. Okay. So, phone directory. It's getting harder to get contact people who drop their landlines and only use their cell phones. Yeah. Yeah. True. But okay. It's got a marked up copy that has lots of changes in it. People moving in, people moving out. Okay. But how hard is it? What? How much time does it take to redo it? It should probably check the phone numbers. Somebody should actually call people and say, okay. You know, if this no longer works, then don't put them in there. But okay. Yale, is it? Do you have it written by hand, or have you typed it? Typed in the changes. Written by hand. Okay. I wouldn't Maybe. mind. I I could tackle that in some aspect if you want it, or divvy it up with you know yeah, in the yeah, winter think, or the like divvy, divvy up the up. names and yeah. Maybe F in, and, in the winter. Yeah. Let's yeah. Be after the politicians are done. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there is advertising in there, so you know you can hit up the people and see if they want an ad that helps pay for it. Yeah. You might want to write a community fund grant to help with um, printing and postage, and we mail them out usually. So. Yeah. Gail, I know you're not like on the board, but. Is is it true that they only want that you really should only apply for one grant? Otherwise, you have that tax liability. Um, the community fund grant, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Right. If you get more than one grant, you know the the committee could get a grant, or if you get more than one grant, yes, you're going to need a 1099 but the committee can get a grant well they've given grants to the committee in the past i believe or okay i don't maybe you guys maybe you guys just applied as individuals and you got the grant but so now that's bringing me back to are you done with your question sherry yeah. did you get it yeah, answered? yeah. Um, if we get if triple for the grant and then we have money to come in how do we set that up it would go to the town right and then is there a special designation that you're going to make for it? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. it just doesn't get lumped into okay, the general just, fund. No, I have to account for all the grants. They all have to be accounted for separately. Right. Okay. Okay. And when you're doing grants through the state, you have to say, yes, I have the software that can keep these separate. And and so if they were going to make a check, it would go to the town of Timmins, the town of and then they would just put pavilion or whatever. They would, they would probably say rec committee or something. Rec committee, okay. Or, the recreation grant. Okay. I don't, I don't know how BGS does it, but it okay. would probably be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. And if we were to apply, going back to the phone thing, so maybe we could apply for a grant and have it come to the town. The select board would have to approve it, but the money for the books could go to the town. I should have to ask the select board about that. <laughs> no, but I mean, if, if we apply... And Right. In, in the past, I think Nancy Birdsall started it. So she got grants, um, three or four grants. I think Pat Pashilka got a grant the year that she did it. Um, I wear too many hats to write that grant. Right. Hmm. And it does take quite a bit of time to get everything together. Right. But I do have the the virtual copy of it, Cindy. So there's, you know, there's a starting place. You don't have to. Okay. Yeah. 
from, from the beginning. Yeah, that's great. That'd be good. I'm just writing myself a note. And those grant deadlines are what? This grant deadline is September 10th. No, I meant community fund. Oh, community fund. Uh, it changes. And, You're on the board. Well, May, we're trying to make it. April, you, yeah, we've changed it a bit. Um, it was May 1st, I think. It was in February, so we could hand right. out things at the town meeting. Yeah. And then it got changed with COVID, so it was later. And then it turned out to be too much later. So yeah. I think it might be April 1st. Maybe now. April 1st. Yeah, I can't remember. Because yeah. the campers have to get their stuff in early. Yeah. Because a lot of them have to get money by June. So, yeah. Okay. Just, I would say shoot for April 1st and I'll try to track it down. Okay. It's sometimes it's at the whim of the community fund board, but <laughs> they try to make it easy for everybody. Yeah. Okay. All right, there. All right, well, we have all our questions answered for now. <laughs> um, are we ready to adjourn? I make a motion we adjourn. One second. And we're adjourning. 7.33. 7.33, great. I like that. <laughs> I know. Did you? I go help Rainbow now. <laughs> they have a video of, of they're cutting.